In this module, we learned about marble, uh, marble being one of the most famous, most recognizable geological materials used in art history and probably something that, that each of us can picture when we close our eyes. Um, beginning its life as a, a humble limestone and then uh, after undergoing the strain of being squeezed uh, during mountain growth, uh, developing those uh, nice, well-formed, sugary calcite crystals, either in the very pure white, blindingly white yes. uh, sometimes form, uh, or in the, the elegantly uh, streaked, silver gray uh, graphite bearing version of the marble is something that we see in sculptures. It's something that we see in architecture. Um, you may have some on your countertop or in your local cemetery, uh, something that, that uh, most of us are familiar with and, and have a chance to see on a regular basis. So the next time you're, you're walking through your kitchen or past the local church or bank and you notice a marble, take a minute to, to think about the use of this marble throughout history and how that, um, that ease of use and the availability of large quantities of marble ha and that just sort of beauty of the worked material has uh, come to be represented throughout throughout history up until uh, continuing into modern times. So I, I hope that uh, you also have a, a good appreciation of how this material was cut and drilled and worked. Uh, you've seen some modern tools, you've seen some ancient tools, and also had the chance to explore some of the, the characteristic marks of different techniques. Um, one of the things that, uh, of course, the Romans developed was, uh, well, even the, the, the Hellenistic Greeks, was a technique of drilling into marble and taking advantage of this pure, pristine whiteness and then introducing areas of shadow with uh, really deep drill work. Um, and that's something that makes the, the art of the Hellenistic period so very interesting. And we see the Romans uh, playing with those techniques as well. Uh, so I hope that if nothing else, this gets you to your local art museum at some point. Um, and you'll spend a little bit of time maybe looking at a Roman portrait head that you would have walked past before and uh, look, look for those tool marks. Look for marks of different types of points and chisels and think about sort of the controlled workmanship of the artist in that process.